Detroit City Councilman Gabe Leland is free on his own recognizance tonight after his arraignment on bribery charges. It's a charge that could land him in federal prison for 10 years. Rod Maloney was in the courtroom this afternoon as Leland went before a judge and Rod. Federal prosecutors say they've got recordings to prove it. Yes, and you might think that that's a wiretap, but that is not the case. At least that's what Gabe Leland's attorney told us outside the courthouse today. His claim is that the person who was allegedly taking the bribes in this case had a recording device on him, and that's what they relied on when they had the indictment and the filing for that indictment. Sitting Detroit City Council member Gabe Leland emerged from a long day inside federal court today and had very little to say. I'm innocent uh, and I'm looking forward to trial. And that's my comment. Thank you all. Uh, Leland's attorney, Steve Fishman, usually quite curt with us in the media, had a lot to say. Gabe Leland never accepted nothing for himself, that's for sure. I mean, everybody knows that. Leland's charged with conspiracy to commit bribery and bribery for allegedly taking $7,500 from a Detroit business person looking to save his property from being sold by the city of Detroit. The grand jury indictment claims Leland wanted $15,000, but only half of that amount was paid. Leland's apparently recorded saying that he bottled up that land sale in one of the council committees that Leland chairs for that business person in exchange for the money. Ready to plead guilty for being the go-between in this case is Elissa Grubbs. A magistrate entered a not guilty plea for Leland at his arraignment and allowed Leland to leave the courthouse on his own recognizance for his case that will be held in Ann Arbor and not in Detroit. I'm saying that there was no bribery. Fishman is saying the government has stacked the deck against Leland and believes that he can show the allegations are not as they appear. We're going to trial. <laughs> if that doesn't say I'm innocent, I don't know what else you can say about it. You know what I mean? Most cases over here, 95% result in guilty pleas. This one won't. This will be a jury trial, as sure as we're standing here. Now, one of the things that Fishman has been saying is that the, the context of the conversations between Leland and this other person, this business person, are going to be vital in this trial. In the meantime, Leland has had to give up the guns that he inherited from his father, the now late uh, Burton Leland, who is the Wayne County Commissioner, and he also has to give up his passport. Back to you. So, Rod, we heard about Elisa Grubbs. What do we know about her? Well, uh, apparently Leland's chief of staff had hired her to do work for the, for the, uh, the, the, the office of the council member. Uh, she also had worked previously for Congressman John Conyers and had filed a lawsuit against him. But interestingly enough, this afternoon I went and looked up her case and now she and Gabe Leland have been both named in the same case. In other words, when the indictments came out, they were individual cases, but now they have been joined and they're going to be going to court in Ann Arbor at the end of November. Okay, a lot more to come and Rod, we know you'll keep this posted.